Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be taking a second look through classic PSP games using the PPSS PP emulator running on the Valve Steam Deck and uh, they just play so very very well on this system that I thought we'd go back and have a look at another uh, sort of 20 or so games. Um, so one thing I didn't do in my first video was show many of the amazing retro compilations that exist for the uh, the PSP. And this one is the Activision Hits Remixed. And we just saw a little bit of River Aid. And this is perhaps one of Activision's most famous games, which was Pitfall. Great, great stuff. Here's another one here, Atari Classics Evolved. And this is, uh, they, this is some classic Atari games. You can play them in like standard, like the original format, or in these uh, like evolved forms. So they've uh, reimagined the games and brought them a little bit up to date. And this is, of course, Missile Command. But I'm always a fan of uh, retro collections, and the PSP has some really, really good ones. And we will see a few of those today, along with some of the more AAA titles that I didn't cover last time round. I always remember loving Missile Command. The original arcade version of it. Fantastic stuff. It was just such a great game to watch. Someone who was really good at it. Um, it was just fascinating to uh, to actually watch the game and spend hours watching it. Just brilliant. Back in the day. Cool stuff. And it's just some of the other games that are included there. All the sort of the classic. Atari games are included in their original and updated versions. So there's a lot of good stuff there. This is another one of my uh, favourites, Gradius. This is one of the uh, the original sideways schmucks from back in the day. And this is the Gradius collection. Apologies, well the screen's a bit black, you get a bit of reflection there, but I didn't want to not include this one because it's such a great shooter. And if you've never played it, um, you know, I mean, it, this sort of game got released in the end on almost all the uh, all the systems back in the 90s and 2000s in some sort of retro collection. Um, and I can't imagine it's too difficult to pick up today. But it's a good little shooter. Um, like all these schmucks, you just need to uh, play it a few times so you've got the idea of the layout and then you start getting the hang of it. Highly addictive. Some of these I ended up playing long, long after I'd been filming. <laughs> this is um, the superb Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. So they brought out Liberty City Stories, which is an incredible success on the PSP. It's probably one of the, the greatest and best-selling games that ever came out for it. And this was the uh, the sequel, and it is equally as amazing. I mean, it really is quite something, this one. It's, it's even better than the first one. Um, I haven't played this one through to the end, like the first one, but playing this just this little bit and how it was instantly pick-up and playable, I thought, oh, this is going to... Yeah, this was tempting me back to play a few more hours on this one because it's just so good it just looks great the soundtrack is great i had to turn the uh the audio off because um of i didn't want to re receive a copyright strike but um these do play sort of hits from the 80s this one um along with the uh, ssx tricky which i'll show you a little bit of in a minute but once again i had to sort of mute the volume on that one just so we uh we didn't break any rules but as you can see this is uh this is great and one thing th the gta games were famous for was uh brilliant motorcycle uh, handling it's just fantastic this is uh lumines 2 so lumines was some might say it was the the psp's killer app in that it was one that a lot of people got it came bundled with a lot of systems and it is like a a tetris on steroids sort of a game uh, certainly when i had my psp my original one and um, this is the one that my my wife loved to play quite a bit I have to wrestle the PSP from her so I could get a game of snooker in, <laughs> which I also loved on this, actually, the World Championship snooker. I absolutely spent hours and hours playing frames of snooker on that. Um, right now, um, I am still playing, believe it or not, Everybody's Golf 2 or Hot Shots Golf 2 if you're in the States, and I'm still absolutely loving working my way through that. It's just fantastic. 
But this PPSS PP emulator is just so, so good on the Steam Deck. You just, you cannot go wrong. It just handles every single game that you throw at it uh, really, really well. So here's uh, another little retro collection. This is Midway Arcade Treasures Extended Play. And uh, this is Super Sprint. So I remember playing a three player version of this. It was three steering wheels all side by side and you and a couple of mates could play and you'd go through the different tracks and uh, you'd spin spin the wheel to go around the corners. It's absolutely epic fun. I didn't even realise this particular game was on here. It's a bit, it takes a little bit of time just to get the swing out, but you can see um, on the left there all the different sorts of games that were included in this particular um, anthology. I ended up playing uh, another uh, wedge of uh, Gauntlet. Absolutely love Gauntlet. Marble Madness. Hey, you can see there's loads here. Absolutely loads on this particular one. They didn't scrimp, which they've done on some of the uh, more modern Switch compilations, for example. Sinistar. They're just awesome, isn't it? Spy Hunter. Brilliant stuff. And these are all the arcade perfect versions of them, so they play brilliantly on the Steam Deck and I thought we would have just a tiny quick look at one of my favourites which is Gauntlet. This was the very original Gauntlet and for quite a while I ummed and ahed about getting an original cabinet for this one but it's just so big because it was four players I decided against it um, but it's just such a great game and uh, once again I remember back in the day playing with a few experts at Gauntlet and they were just superb at it and they got to like level two, three hundred, something like that. Just nuts. This is uh, the Namco Museum Battle Collection. Once again, this has got a really nice selection of classic Namco games. Not the best that we've seen, but it does include one of my all-time favourites, which is Rolling Thunder. They don't do a modern version of it, sadly, but they've got the complete classic game, which it truly is a classic. I absolutely love it. If you've never played Rolling Thunder, well, here's a little look at it. I'm sure you recognise it now. You play this spy, you've got five levels to get through. And it's all about sort of knowing um, where the uh, the bad guys are going to come out. So familiarity with the levels and the level design is all you really need. Mastering the jump, and uh, it's all about timing really. And uh, the more you play it, the better you get. It's as simple as that. And it's just a real favourite of mine. I absolutely love this one. Great, great soundtrack. It's brilliant. did have a couple of sequels which came out on the Mega Drive and in fact this would be one of the titles I wish um, they could do possibly Namco could do like a Rolling Thunder collection with uh, with a more vo modern version of it so this is uh, another one of my favorites this is Need for Speed Most Wanted and uh, the PPSS PP emulator handles these sorts of racing games you know, with total ease and uh, the PSP itself had a great selection of racing games, you know, there's probably maybe 20 really really AAA ones and this is one of them great great handling cool soundtrack and uh, just great fun to play, you know, pick up and play and that's sort of what I'm looking for with my Steam Deck it's like uh, a world of quick hits, at least at the moment Another great little uh, collection. Now we saw, um, this is Pinball Hall of Fame. And uh, this is the Gottlieb collection. So this is all Gottlieb tables. And uh, you get about 20 tables, literally, that you can just play straight from the off as like practice. Uh, but there's lots of unlockables as well as you uh, break certain targets and things like that. Very, very good, really nostalgic. It's all you know, the sounds of the arcade in the background. I love it. I absolutely love these when they came out, and, and they're still great fun to play today. I know there are better pinball simulators out there, but this was this was the first one that really sort of hit the nail on the head for me, and I, I love them even to, even to this day. They're fantastic. Get ready. So 
another great racer. This is Ridge Racer 2. So Ridge Racer 1 was one of the launch games for the PSP back in the day and uh, a couple of years and it was a big hit and a couple of years later they brought out the sequel. Equally fantastic. I mean really really great this one. Um, I mean, nowadays you look at it and you think, well, yeah, it's just you know standard Ridge Racer. But when this came out, you just couldn't believe what you were seeing on the screen. It was that that good, you know. As you can see here, it's blisteringly fast. And um, on that original PSP screen back then, it just looked like something from the future. It really was incredible. A bit like the Switch is today. So versatile. It's a fantastic bit of kit. But this was 20 years ago, best part of. Now we've got Soul Calibur, Broken Destiny. Another great little fighting game, one that I love. Very, very accessible, this. Good mix of characters as well. Really great levels and backdrops and arenas on this one. It's good stuff. Also quite unusual in that um, it's like first to three. So you have to win three rounds against your opponents. It's a little bit, um, a little bit harder than some. This is uh, another sort of re-release, Space Invaders Evolution. So it's like a, the original Tato Space Invaders, it's been uh, updated. Um, they are pretty good, these these reimaginings of Space Invaders, but um, this particular one is almost like endless, and it was, a, it was a tricky one to play, because as you clear in the screen, there's more being deployed, as it were, more aliens. So um, in the end, you say, oh, can't be bothered with this, but um, it was interesting to give it a try anyway. So this is SSX on tour. I'm sure you're familiar with the SSX games. Now I muted the volume on this one because once again it's got a banging soundtrack which um, would flag up on YouTube and I don't want to uh, incur any copyright infringements so I've just muted the volume on this one. Um, but suffice to say it plays absolutely brilliantly and it's uh, almost relaxing playing it. It's brilliant. So here's uh, another uh, collection Tato Legends Power Up, so you see some of the games that are on that are included in this one. I've got lots of the originals as well. This is a game that I remember playing back in the day for a little while. Crazy Balloon, quite a rarity. This one you don't often see it, um, and you just basically guide your balloon around the course. Um, it took a lot of practice. This game, to be honest, it really did. But once you got the swing of it, it was all right, you know. But yeah, it took a delicate touch. Which I obviously haven't got. <laughs> but yeah, quite a few games to included in that one. And uh, once again, it's, you know, on all these sort of retro collections, you're bound to find one or two that you really, really like. There's some cool ones there. Look at them all. A few more obscure ones as well, in actual fact. So 
So here's uh, another series that I'm a big fan of. That's the Tekken series. And this is Tekken Dark Resurrection. And this is a good fighter as well. This really is. A lot of backstory to it. Lots of characters to work through. Very, very accomplished indeed. Excellent stuff. This was Tron Evolution. So this is uh, based on the uh, second Tron movie. And um, I've got to admit, I was a bit taken aback by this because it's one I've never played before. And it was actually, I mean, the aesthetics of it are absolutely amazing. It's straight from the film. Um, so it starts off in Flynn's arcade and then you go through the screen into Tron's world. And Flynn's given Tron his first couple of missions. And basically, this, this is just like the little uh, area where you learn the controls and uh, get the swing of it a little bit. But uh, really, really great. You're on, the, on the, the start of the game grid, as it were. If you're a fan of Tron, you might end up spending quite a bit of time this with this one because it's good fun. Once you've got, got the swing of it, you've got your, uh, your disc there as well that you can um, fire off to protect yourself. I said, it just took a little bit of um, realising how to get around in the world. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Tron. In fact, the original actor from Tron, David Warner, and actually died this week as I filmed this. And then the last one we're going to be having a look at today is Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins. This is another really tough as nails retro game, but this is just, it's got the original, it's got the reissue of it included in this game. And uh, it's great, there's a lot going on here. It's as tough as you remember it. And uh, yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. So there you are. So I hope you've enjoyed the second look through some PSP classics. And um, certainly I enjoyed filming it. I'd still be playing them today if I had the chance. Next week we'll be looking at Atari games running on the Steam Deck. So that's all the different Atari systems, of which there's many, uh, for us to have a little look at. So that should be good fun. Thanks very much for watching today. Do please hit the subscribe button if you've not already. And I'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.